okay so very very good morning to all uh, what we have done in our last lecture function other level in our physics we are talking about basic mathematics basic mathematical tools which will help understand concept of physics my voice is very clear to you <clears throat> okay so we were talking about uh, straight line first basic function in the basic function we are talking about a uh, polynomial function polynomial function okay and polynomial function x and y are are directly directly interrelated like first linear function linear equation okay and second quadratic equation quadratic equation so when y is directly proportional to x like y is equal to mx plus c that is equation of a straight line equation of a straight line okay same as it is quadratic equation if y is equal to like a x square plus b x plus c okay same as it is so many other this quadratic equation form parabola okay form parabola we have so many other functions also like circle like hyperbola and ellipse okay so in polynomial function we will talk about a straight line quadratic equation which is kind of parabola circle and hyperbola and ellipse these are some some special type of polynomial function so first a straight line we already have knowledge about a straight line in last lecture we have covered so many concept related to a straight line so what is slow form of a straight line slow form of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c where m is slow n is equal to n is equal to tan theta and theta is angle with a positive axis we have to measure angle with a positive axis and anti clockwise direction okay what is theta theta is angle with positive x axis and anti clockwise direction okay angle may be positive or negative if you are measuring angle in anti clockwise direction it is positive angle if you are measuring clockwise direction angle in clockwise direction it is negative angle like if you measuring angle in clockwise direction like 45 degree so it is called plus 5 by 4 okay or plus 45 if you are measuring angle in anti clockwise direction it is minus 45 degree okay so what is theta theta is angle with its positive x axis in anti clockwise direction okay so please write it down again each concept you have to write down in your notebook you have to make proper notes each and every concept please note down very carefully in polynomial function in polynomial function linear equation quadratic equation circle quadratic equation is called parabola it form parabola circle hyperbola ellipse these are some polynomial functions relation between x and y is direct direct relation like y is equal to mx plus c y is equal to mx plus c 
okay so now what is point form of straight line point form of a straight line if we are, we are having two points like x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 on a straight line and we want to find equation of this type of straight line then slope will be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 an equation will be phi minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 okay so we can put value of m so y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. on the place y1 and x1 we can put also here y1 and x1 we can use x2 and y2 also whatever we are putting either y1 or x1 or x2 or y2 equation will be same we can take an example like 1 comma 2 and 4 comma 5 we have to find equation of this statement first what is m m will be y2 5 minus y1 2 divided by x2 4 minus x1 1 so it will be 3 by 3 it is equal to 1 so m equal to 1 equation is 5 minus 1 sorry 5 minus 2 what is y2 it is y1 it is x1 it is x2 and y2 so y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so equation y minus 2 is equal to x minus 1 so y is equal to x plus 1 this is the equation of a straight line which is passing through 1 comma 2 and 4 comma 5 it is simple and in the last i think it was your homework that you have to prove intercept form of straight line intercept form of straight line so what is intercept form of straight line y if we know intercept on x axis and y axis like a and d intercept on x axis is a so this coordinate is a comma 0 and this intercept on y axis is at d so coordinate of this point will be 0 comma d so equation is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 only one student has submitted this assignment till now what is name of that student i think vidhi vidhi uh, have you submitted assignment yes sir. hello okay okay only one student so all of you also have to submit assignment you have to prove this intercept form of this that line like acceleration time graph is like that at t equal to 0 acceleration is acceleration is 10 meter per second square and at t equal to after 5 second acceleration is 0 now we have to find acceleration at 2.5 second okay or acceleration at 3 second find acceleration at t equal to 3 second so we can find equation of this is straight line we can find relation between acceleration and time using this straight line equation so what will be equation it is a by 10 on y axis we are using acceleration so we have to replace y by a so y by b so a by 10 plus and on the place of x we are using time t so t by 5 equal to 1 
so from this equation we can directly find relation between acceleration and time and if you put t equal to 3 second and find acceleration very easily okay so please note it down and please solve this question what is value of acceleration at t equal to 3 second you have to put value t equal to 3 second in this equation and find acceleration a please find it everybody have to solve it janvi muskan nandini salva vidhi all of you if you are getting all the things it is not much difficult to solve these equation these to solve this question if you are getting all the things okay Janvi has also submitted assignment. Okay, okay, Janvi. Okay, I think all concept. i can do so what is value of acceleration have anybody got it acceleration value of acceleration no one janvi what is value of acceleration beta my voice is audible to you janvi janvi mehta minus 6 muskan is saying minus 6 very good let it uh, should not be minus it should be positive so a by 10 plus c by 5 minus 1 so a by 10 is it is equal to 1 1 minus 3 by 5 so a by 10 is equal to 2 by 5 okay it will be 5 minus 3 2 by 5 so a is equal to 20 by 5 is 4 It is the four meter per second square. So at t equal to three, acceleration is four meter per second. Okay. Please note it down. okay i think it is clear to all okay can one uh, can anyone uh, say anything so that uh, it will verify that my voice is audible or not janvi yes sir okay 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 thank you so next is parabola parabola second polynomial equation is parabola it is y square is equal to 4ax 
ओके इफ वी राइट वाई स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर एक्स पैराबल पैराबोला विल बी लाइक दैट इट इज बेसिक फॉर्म ऑफ पैराबोला जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ पैराबोला ओके एंड द ग्राफ बिटवीन वाई एंड एक्स विल बी लाइक दैट इट इज क्वाड्रेटिक ग्राफ एंड इफ रिप्लेस एक्स टू द वाई एंड वाई टू द एक्स वी कैन रोटेट दिस पैराबोला बाय 90 डिग्री सो If we draw y and x, the equation will be x square is equal to 4ay, or y is equal to 1 by 4a x square. So it is quadratic equation. It is kind of quadratic equation, and root of this quadratic equation is 0 comma 0. If we put y is equal to 0, what is meaning of root when y becomes 0? What is meaning of root of quadratic equation? If we plot this parabola like this, like that, this is plot. Please understand all the concepts. If we plot parabola like that, then at x-axis, it is at x-axis. At x-axis, y equal to zero. What is the equation of quadratic? quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c if we write a equation of parabola y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c if we shift origin if we shift origin to some alpha comma beta if we shift origin to the some point alpha comma beta here alpha comma beta then parabola will be like that and equation now will become y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c okay equation will be now y is equal to a x square it is quadratic equation and if we put if we put y equal to 0 then a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 okay so value of value of x for y equal to 0 like alpha and beta okay You know very well roots of quadratic equation alpha very alpha and beta. So y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c. The quadratic equation having graph of parabola and roots are intercept of parabola on x axis. So roots are roots are x equal to minus b plus minus root b square. Minus four AC divided by two A. Okay, so it is find x one and x two. So x one and x two. Okay. Let us consider negative sign is for x one and positive sign for x two. So these are two roots. So this concept you have to. Understand very clearly that quadratic equation having graph of parabola. Okay, and intercept on y-axis are. Sir, board. On, sir, board is not yes. visible to me. Okay, Salva is saying that board is not visible. It will be clear. Uh, don't worry. Anyone else having this problem? Other student, uh, board is clear for them. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, Salva. Uh, I think uh, it is. It's from your side. Net connection is poor from your side, because other students are able to see board clearly. So it may be possible that your net connection is a little bit poor. So please check it. Otherwise, it will be. Uh, I think uh, clear soon. Within uh, one two minute, it will be clear. Okay. Okay. So one thing you have to remember is that the graph of quadratic equation is parabola. This is simple form of parabola. Y square is equal to four x. And if we rotate this parabola, if we rotate this parabola by ninety degree, then equation we have to interchange x and y. 
So x square is equal to 4a y. Y is equal to 1 by 4a x square. Okay, and if we put y equal to zero, we will get zero comma zero. X value of x is zero comma zero. So this this is the root. And if we shift origin to some other point, if we are shifting to origin, then these parabola, these parabola will be like that, and equation will be like that. Okay, how you can recognize uh, is it parabola or ellipse or circle? When power of y is one, and power of maximum power of x is two, or we can interchange also. If power of one variable is twice that of power of other variable, okay, then it is it form parabola. Next, okay. Next is circle. I think circle already we have covered. Circle. So when coefficient of x square in circle, you can see the power of x and y both having two twice. Okay, power of x is equal to two, and maximum power of y is also equal to two. So it is it forms circle. If coefficient of these two are also equal, the maximum power of x and y is two, and coefficient is also equal. Then it forms circle. It is way to re uh, to understand is uh, either it is equation of circle or other any graph because all of these are quadratic equation. Okay, so x square plus y square is equal to r square is circle having origin uh, center is at zero and radius r so this is circle okay same as it is if we shift origin to some other point alpha comma beta and now this is circle of center at alpha comma beta and radius is r then equation will be alpha minus x minus alpha square plus y minus beta y minus beta whole square equal to r square okay when we shift origin to the or center to the alpha comma beta then x we have to replace by x minus alpha and y we have to replace by y minus beta it is not only for circle in any type of in any type of equation if we are replacing x by x minus alpha and y minus y minus beta it is indicating that we have shifted origin okay so this is circle of center at origin and radius is r and this is circle center is sorry this circle is center at alpha comma beta and this circle is center At zero comma zero at origin. Okay, so this is circle. Circle is very also very important concept in physics because so many body, so many object are moving on circular path like our satellites. So to understand motion of satellites, to understand motion of planets, to understand motion of every body which is moving on circular path, we have to understand. We have to uh, know uh, the concept of circle. we have to know the idea of position of circle x and y is the position of uh, position of particle at any any point on circle okay so it is very much important for us to understand each concept of circle okay now ellipse now ellipse ellipse is like Like that. This coordinate is a comma zero. This coordinate is minus a comma zero. It is zero comma b, and it is zero comma minus b. So this is ellipse. Okay. The total length along x-axis, which is equal to two a, this two a is called 
Nazareth. It is called Nazareth. Okay. So A is called semi Nazareth. A is called semi Nazareth. Okay. Same as it is. B is called semi minor A. And in this ellipse, there are two focus, F1 and F2. These are two focus of ellipse. Like one center in circle, in ellipse we have two focus. Okay? These are two focus. Focus of ellipse. So what is the importance of ellipse in physics? I think you very well know about the Kepler's law. First law of Kepler is that all the planets are revolving around elliptical path around the sun. All the planets are revolving around elliptical path around the sun. Okay. And sun is present one of its foci. Sun is present one of its foci either, either at F1 or at F2. Okay. So it is also very much important because if you want to find or uh, whenever in uh, NASA or ISRO, whenever anyone want, want to find the location, the location of any planet, like from Earth, we want to find location of Mars, location of Saturn, any other planet, or uh, location of uh, Sun, location of uh, other planet, the equation of LHC is very much important for us. Because it may be possible that uh, when uh, a time instant, when time is uh, at a particular time instant, distance between Earth and Mars is much less as compared to other instant. Okay, so everybody just uh, waiting for that moment when distance is very much less. So when distance is very much less, then it may be possible that we can uh, launch any satellite or any uh, some robot to the other planet. So they are just measuring continuously measuring the location of all planets. So how they are measuring, what the uh, actually equation they have to fit into the computer, equation of LF. Okay, so these are basic concepts. Okay, mathematics is the basic fundamental tools which help us to understand all the concepts of physics. Without mathematics, we cannot understand even proportional. We, can we cannot understand even Newton's basic law. Okay, we cannot understand basic concept of motion without mathematics. So all this concept you have to understand very much clearly first. So then we will go for physics concept of physics like one dimension motion, two dimension motion, and other type of motion like rotational motion, circular motion, gravitation. Okay, fluid mechanics. These are some uh, chapter we will cover in our 11th NCRT. 11th physics. First chapter is physical world. Second chapter is one dimension, I think, unit and dimension and measurement. Third chapter is one dimension motion. Fourth chapter is two dimension motion. In two dimension motion, we will study projectile motion. We will study projectile motion. What is projectile motion? It's if, uh, if an object is thrown, an object is thrown at angle theta with horizontal, then path of that object will be projectile. Okay, it is called projectile motion. Okay, the trajectory is kind of parabola. So these equations actually we are using practically. Okay, all this concept we have to understand very clearly. Because on the basis of these concepts, so many scientists, so many innovators have invented so many things. Like uh, we can uh, see equation of uh, Einstein equation of energy E is equal to mc square. It is mathematics. It is mathematical relation between energy and mass of body and speed of light. Okay. So these concepts you have to understand very clearly. Then only we can, we can some, think something about physics. Okay. So what is ellipse? Ellipse kind, kind circle but different radii. Okay. So this is A is semi-major axis and B is semi-minor axis. Okay, so I think you have already written it on your notebook. 
you have to make your notes very clearly because these concepts continuously help us okay next is hyperbola it may be possible it this concept are little bit difficult for you to understand but uh, please remember if you are not getting actual concept then please remember what is equation of ellipse equation of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 this is equation of this ellipse okay this is equation of ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 what is difference between ellipse and circle in circle a equal to b means coefficient of x square and y square when both coefficient are equal then it is it forms circle okay if coefficient are different x square having and y square both are having different coefficient then it will form ellipse so it is simple method to find the equation either it is or ellipse or circle if coefficient of x square and y square are different then it is it will form ellipse otherwise if coefficient is equal then it is equation of circle okay then parabola parabola is like that it is similar to the it is similar to the hyperbola but little bit different to hyper uh, it is similar to the parabola but it little bit different we in hyperbola we having two parabola okay and graph is totally different it is two foci f1 and f2 okay an equation of this type of hyperbola is x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1 i am just giving you brief introduction of mathematical tools okay we can derive it but for to derive for derivation of this equation and this equation we have to understand the concept of what is the actual meaning of ellipse okay it is these ellipse hyperbola parabola circle are conic section so on the concept of conic section we can derive okay so mathematics student we will uh, you will take uh, these concept in your mathematics we will get uh, a separate chapter of conic section and then in this that chapter you will find parabola ellipse and hyperbola and so many other kind of conic section okay what is meaning of conic section this is cone and if we cut this cone by horizontal plane by a horizontal plane then we will get a circle okay if we cut it by an inclined plane then we will get ellipse okay if we cut it by vertical plane then we will get parabola okay you have to just imagine in 3d 3d imagination power should be required to understand conic section so if we cut cone uh, cone by horizontal plane this is a cone and if we are cutting cone by horizontal plane then it is circle we are getting circle if we cut it by inclined plane then it is ellipse and by vertical plane we will get like that parabola and if you put though if, sorry if you put agar hum do aise cone rakh liye two cones Back to back, then we will get hyperbola. We will get hyperbola like that. So all this concept, I think, much clear for you. The equation of hyperbola is like that: x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to one. So if equation in how we can recognize equation is it a equation of hyperbola? The coefficient. Coefficient are of hyperbola is different. Sorry, coefficient of x square and y square is different. But 
and also of opposite sign so this is the difference between ellipse and hyperbola okay in ellipse both having positive coefficient but in hyperbola these are opposite sign coefficient of x square and y square are, are of opposite sign okay please note it down Mustan, are you getting all the things? The yes, please. sir. Please repeat the lecture. Repeat last step. Okay. Actually, when uh, I am on board, you can uh, you can unmute yourself and uh, whatever doubt you are having, you can ask because uh, I am not uh, watching your comment continuously. So you can just because the number of students not so much, so you can just uh, unmute yourself and ask whatever you doubt. Like uh, last step is not getting okay. So Muskan, are you getting all the things? Hello. Oh yes, sir. Okay, are you getting? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Vita. Now you can mute yourself. Okay. So, if you have any doubt, you can ask immediately. Okay. No hesitation. Any kind kind of hesitation. Don't. You can ask any doubt because it is live classroom. You are not. Uh, watching a video it is like like live classroom one comment is also there able to understand sir i am not able to understand what you are not able to understand today is my first lecture okay 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 so i will send you uh, last lecture video of last lecture to you and first you just go through to the video then uh, i think this concept will be clear for you okay it may be possible that this concept little bit tough to understand you because uh, you are just coming from 10th standard and I am teaching you mathematics of 12th and 10th and so many students of bio not interested in mathematics. Sir, we have to mathematics and biology so that we don't have interest in mathematics and you are studying mathematics. Okay? Do you have any student ko doubt? Hai? Any student having doubt like that? you are teaching mathematics and uh, we are a bio student why you are teaching mathematics to us sir what is the uh, what is the importance of physics in our biology in our whole life we will uh, work with uh, some medicine and uh, syringe and all medical equipment and but uh, you are teaching us physics so what is the important yes mathematics student has so many uh, importance in uh, in their engineering it may be possible that so many mathematics students will do some technical degree like btech mtech engineering okay so for them these concepts are much important but for biology student why why these concepts are i am uh, teaching you can anyone tell me how many students uh, among you of biology medical students components me nandini okay janvi okay so any doubt why you are uh, i am teaching you mathematics any doubt from your side muskan you too okay so Salva also biology student. Okay, okay. So I'm just asking to Nandani. 
beta uh, why uh, mathematics is i am teaching you what is the importance of physics for biology student can you can tell me yes nandini hello nandini are you there yes sir so can you tell me what is uh, why we are uh, taking physics in our biology no idea sir oh okay okay so that's why i am asking this question that's because first i have to give you knowledge about this physics what is the importance of physics in biology uh, biology stream okay so what is importance of physics in for biology student all the equipment you are uh, you will use in your biology in your medical in your medicine all the equipment and all the concepts are working on the concept of physics in your our body is working on the concept of physics you know the nervous system the the working on the of nervous system is on the basis of electromagnetic waves so first you have to understand what is electric field what is magnetic field and how these electric and magnetic field uh, simultaneously forming electromagnetic wave okay and on the basis of on the concept of that electromagnetic field field our nervous system is working if i am able to rotate my finger okay it is due to the electromagnetic waves which are sending by my brain to the finger are you getting my point if you are talking about x ray machine so the x ray are electromagnetic waves okay so without understanding the concept of x ray how you can use x ray machine it may be possible that you will become a big md okay famous md so you have to knowledge about all equipment how syringe is working okay so so many students how it is very easy to distribute so many medicine how to pack medicine how to pack a tablet into a particular box into particular wrapper okay so it is much important for you you know in pharma industry if we we count doctors and if we count in engineers so the quantity of the number of engineers is very very larger as compared to doctor okay in pharma industry but who actually guiding them doctors doctors are the requirement according to requirement of doctor engineers are working engineers are prepare technology is continuously preparing some type of new equipment to help doctor okay all the equipment you can know in the future it may be possible that a brain our brain signal of brain will interface with the computer okay so according to brain signal it may be possible brain signal some computer will work without any uh, physical connectivity just we are applying some electrode on our scalp this is a scalp we can apply some electrode on our scalp to magnetic waves to the computer the computer will work without any signal without any physical connectivity it may be possible you know whenever a patient going to going in hospital first ecg signal electroencephalogram signal and electrocardiograph signal so ecg signal and eeg signal electrocardiograph signal is signal of heart heart and ecg signal electroencephalogram signal are signal of brain so by these signal if a doctor is understanding the fault in human body by by uh, observing e ecg signal okay so how it possible you have to knowledge the medical student the doctor have to knowledge about all these signal okay about the like blood pressure measuring instrument you know it is working on the concept of physics all the physical uh, all the medical instrument or work, working uh, on the concept of physics so we you have to understand concept without physics you cannot understand each concept of medical each concept of body you know heart attack why what is the reason of heart attack 
it is physics okay it is bernoulli theorem due to the bernoulli theorem uh, any person get heart attack so i think uh, this much clear for you if still you have any doubt you can ask have you any doubt you can uh, nandini now any doubt everybody have to communicate with me it's better for you then you will get much better all the things vidhi vidhi modi what uh, what about you are you getting my point no sir yes sir nandini saying no sir sir how will i get previous lecture video i will send you i will send you the link soon they are just uh, we are uploading on youtube channel and uh, we will provide you link nandini yes sir okay so now this this is much clear for, for biology student okay aapko ek baat aur main bata do very clearly if you are preparing for neat neat examination then there are three subject in neat examination chemistry biology and physics so you will be very much efficient in chemistry and biology but physics will maybe it may be possible if you are not getting all the things very clearly because uh, biology student have some phobia okay towards the physics so you have if your physics is strong then definitely you will score better marks in your neat examination because only physics will be big obstacle for you to get good marks in neat examination okay biology and chemistry definitely these two subject will be your strong part strong subject if you are getting physics very seriously the uh, decrement of marks the decrement of your rank is it will be only due to physics okay so physics uh, may play very important role in your neat examination okay there are 45 question of physics and 90 question of biology and 45 question of chemistry okay so you are very much able to solve all the 90 question of biology because it is your core subject same as it is chemistry is also very easy to solve but for physics the 45 question or physics only 45 question of physics may be very tough for you. so the time the devotion towards the biology and chemistry is equal to devotion only towards the physics okay so please understand all the concept if you are getting i will help you for to understand each concept of physics i will help you up to neat examination don't worry about it but you have to ask you have to show your problem otherwise you are uh, still you are not saying anything you are just putting some comment on comment box yes sir how i i will get you just you can ask okay no need to communicate by comment box by chat box okay so i think this concept are now it is easy to write down all the concept of mathematics on the board for biology student okay okay now next next is a special type of hyperbola which is called rectangular hyperbola rectangular hyperbola so it is like that if you rotate hyperbola by 45 degree then we will get graph like that an equation of this type of graph is y is equal to something constant by x if y is inversely proportional to x if y is inversely proportional to x then graph between 
graph between x and y is a rectangular hyperbola okay this is special and this 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 parabola we will use very much in physics in next few chapter like if we are talking about potential energy g m1 m2 by r so potential energy is inversely proportional to the distance gravitational potential energy is inversely proportional to the distance so if you plot if you want to plot potential energy and distance r it will be rectangular hyperbola you have to understand this type of graph rectangular hyperbola what is meaning of rectangular hyperbola when some parameter some quantity some physical quantity is inversely proportional to the other quantity like at a constant temperature at a constant temperature pressure is inversely proportional to volume pressure is inversely proportional to volume pressure of any gaseous medium in container in a container let us consider we are putting us putting some amount of gas and the pressure at constant temperature pressure of gas pressure applied by the gas on the wall of container is directly is inversely proportional to the volume if we decrease volume then automatically pressure will increase and if we decrease if we increase volume if we are if if we are pulling piston upward let us consider it is a closed container and piston is held at the top of the container okay and if we move this piston upward then automatically volume will increase volume of container will increase and pressure will decrease so pressure is inversely proportional to the volume and if we plot graph between pressure and volume pressure and volume it is rectangular hyperbola it is kind of a rectangular hyperbola so these graph you have to understand it is very very important graph in chemistry also the thermodynamics you will it is very very important chapter of chemistry and physics also okay you will study thermodynamics in physics in class 11 and thermodynamics in physics in class uh, in chemistry also in 11 okay so these concept you have to understand please write it down rectangular hyperbola when some quantity is inversely proportional to the other quantity then then it form rectangular hyperbola i think it is much clear for you if any student has any doubt can ask sir yes muskan please repeat rectangular hyperbola okay okay so when a quantity when a physical quantity is inversely proportional to the other type of physical quantity you know what is meaning of inversely proportional okay why is proportional to 1 by x it is called inversely proportional if we replace if we remove these proportional sign we have to use a constant so when y is equal to k by x or x into y is equal to constant or x into y is equal to some constant product of two parameter is constant then graph between these two graph between y and x is rectangular hyperbola it is kind of rectangular hyperbola okay you can take an example you can take an example if we are talking about potential energy gravitational potential energy if we are talking about gravitational potential energy then potential gravitational potential energy is equal to minus g m1 m2 divided by r means gravitational potential is inversely proportional to the distance okay if you plot graph between gravitational potential and distance it will be rectangular hyperbola because it is inversely proportional to r same as it is for a closed container for a closed container at constant temperature if we are talking about at constant temperature if talking about the closed container at constant temperature then pressure inside the container is inversely proportional to volume if we decrease volume 
then automatically pressure will increase if we increase volume but but it is but obviously that pressure will decrease so if we are increasing volume like increasing volume then pressure is decreasing okay at volume v1 pressure is p1 and at volume v2 pressure is p2 so actually pressure is decreasing pressure the graph is moving downward okay so this is concept of rectangular hyperbola it is much important very very important concept okay in neat examination in je examination this concept directly can ask what will be graph between these two okay the graphical representation of two parameter graphical representation of two quantity is very important in physics it is it is a very very easy method to compare two parameter okay okay so these are some uh, polynomial polynomial equation polynomial function we have covered okay next is trigonometric function now we are talking about trigonometric function so i am trigonometric function trigonometric function so to understand trigonometric function first what is meaning of angle okay so if two line having angle theta this angle is measured in radian i think you know very well it it is measured in radian okay also in degree okay so pi radian is equal to 180 degree it is measured in radian degree minute also and second also okay these are units second is the smallest unit to measure angle minute is also unit degree unit radian unit so pi radian is equal to 180 degree so this is relation between pi and degree radian and degree you can find relation okay like if you are talking about 90 degree it is pi by 2 pi by 2 radian if you are talking about 45 degree it is pi by 4 30 degree pi by 6 okay 60 degree pi by 3 270 270 degree 3 pi by 2 360 degree 2 pi 135 degree what is 135 degree it is 3 pi by 4 okay 315 degree i think it is 3 pi by 2 plus pi by 4 so it will be 6 plus 1 7 7 pi by 4 okay so all these value you have to remember what is meaning of pi by 4 if i am telling that a object is thrown at angle pi by 4 with horizontal so what is meaning of pi by 4 it is 45 degree okay if angle between two two side of triangle is pi by 3 it is 60 degree okay if an object is moving at angle 135 degree to other object then it is 3 pi by 4 so all these angle you have to learn very very well <clears throat> okay now 60 60 minute how we can represent minute by using putting a single dash okay so 60 minute this dash is indicating the minute which is equal to 1 degree this is the relation between degree and minute relation between relation between degree and minute and relation between 
second and minute is relation between minute and second so one minute is equal to 60 second how we can represent six second by using two dash we have to use two dash if we are using single dash it is minute so one minute is equal to 60 second one minute is equal to 60 second okay and one degree is equal to one degree is equal to 60 into 60 second means one degree is equal to three six double zero second this second is not like time minute is not like time you can cannot compare second minute which we are using in time this is other other another kind of unit minute and second so one degree is equal to six three six double zero second okay so these are some units which will we will use to measure angle if we are measuring angle i already i have explained this concept if we are measuring angle anti clockwise anti clockwise measured angle is considered positive angle this is sign convention for measurement of angle and clockwise angle is negative angle angle measured in clockwise direction is negative angle okay so note down please note down all these concept so any doubt you can ask this is i am just ending the meeting now okay and the last you can ask because it is uh, enough for today i think uh, it is at uh, 11:05 so there may be any doubt from your side Vidhi, any doubt? No, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes. So, very, very thank you for you. We will meet tomorrow in next lecture at same time 10 to 11. Okay, with some new concepts. Please read all the concepts very care carefully. Okay, if uh, you are getting any doubt, any query, you can ask me. No. Why Dharmil you are saying no? Hello, Dharmil. What is meaning of no? Okay, thank you very much. It is end of the meeting.